the Isheen EV100 goggles. Some people like them, some people don't. There is one thing for sure, a number of them shipped out with a factory defect that causes the screen to look warped. There's actually an easy fix for this, and if you can fix the drone, you can fix the goggles. All you need is a little bit of soldering and a little tiny capacitor like this. Let's go fix them. I originally learned how to do this in an article by Fish Pepper. I'll put a link in the description to that article because he goes into some good detail about it. The first thing you need to do is remove the four screws from the bottom. Next remove the plastic faceplate. It just snaps on, but it does take a little bit of force to get it off. Next you'll have to pry apart the two halves of the plastic casing. This was actually the hardest part of fixing the goggles. But first you'll need to remove both antennas. To separate the plastic casing, you need to start at the sides and work inward toward the center. I found that it's actually too difficult to do with just your hands, so here I got my tweezers and I'm using the back end of the tweezers to get between the two halves of the plastic and pry them apart. Now that the right side's loose, I can go and loosen the left side and then work my way in towards the center. The middle part was definitely the most stubborn part to pop loose. Now you need to remove the four screws that hold down the circuit board inside. We need to install the capacitor on the bottom of the circuit board. So go ahead and lift up the circuit board and hinge it from the front side of the board. For the capacitor, I ordered an assortment kit. I ended up using a 220 microfarad 10 volt electrolytic capacitor. First I need to test fit the capacitor and make sure that it's going to fit inside. And I also need to figure out how it's going to lay down so that I can bend the leads to solder them down. I'm going to leave the original capacitor on the board and just solder the new one in parallel with it. There's no need to remove the old one. It might as well be working with the new one. I'd recommend looking at Fish Pepper's website to see exactly where to solder the capacitor because he has a really good picture on there. He also mentions that it shouldn't matter which way you solder the capacitor on, it should function the same either way. Now it's time to solder. I was able to bend the leads in a way that it pinched the old capacitor and held the new capacitor in place so I didn't need anything to hold the capacitor down while I was soldering. That made it a lot easier. The leads ended up being longer than they needed to be so I used side cutters to cut off the extra length after they were done being soldered down. You want to make sure that the leads are not touching anything else on the circuit board so that they don't short anything. Now we just need to get everything put back together. First, we need to get the circuit board put back into the lower half of the goggles. Next, we need to put the four screws in that hold the circuit board down. Make sure not to over tighten any screws that screw down into plastic because they can strip pretty easily. At this point we're done inside. Now we have to snap together the plastic casing. I found it's a little easier if you start pressing in the center first and then you work your way out towards the edges, opposite of what you did to take it apart. Now we can use the four screws to put the casing back together. Once again, you're screwing them into plastic, so don't over tighten them so that you don't strip anything. Now we can reattach the head strap. 
It's a little tricky, but it just slides in. Now we can attach the plastic faceplate again. It just snaps back on. Mount the antennas. And it's done. This totally fixed the warp screen problem I was having with these goggles. Please like and subscribe if this was helpful. Thanks for watching.